Table Rock. This is uh, in the old penitentiary district. The view up here is spectacular and it's really easy to get to and I camped right at the trailhead last night so I could just brew a coffee and take a stroll up the hill first thing in the morning. It's a nice way to live. I feel good about my time here in Boise. Like um, I had a great time last night and this town is pretty, pretty cool. I'm pretty surprised. I mean, I, I managed to land exactly during Tree Fort Festival, which is kind of cool. So there's a lot of stuff going on and I could see all of that, which was nice. But uh, I don't know, I like, I like smaller cities and uh, I, I would have never thought that um, Boise, Idaho would be on my list up there. But with its ready access to the mountains and hot springs, and you know the, the size and ease with which you can drive across the city and the amount of cool food and stuff I saw. I'll definitely come back. I'll definitely come back. But for now I'm gonna hit the road. It's time to make up some miles and head west. I'm gonna be in Salt Lake City in a few days. And there's a lot of stuff between here and Salt Lake City I'd like to see, so let's do that now. Road trip. <laughs> Pulled over here on the side of the road for a minute because uh, I totally forgot to have breakfast. So having a little bit of a breakfast bowl with potatoes, asparagus, tomatoes, jalapenos, uh, eggs, and uh, some blue cheese on top. Just steam it all right at the end and it melts out super nice. Delicious. And then uh, we'll get back on the road. Just a quick break. Ride down with them like girls do their man. Say, Rodine ain't never let Reginald take off his shirts until the night. She come to Reginald crib in his building. Come on, Chip. All right, welcome to Craters of the Moon National Monument. There's a bit of snow on the ground, and uh, in the National Park Service infinite wisdom, they've shut down the entire park, but still managed to pay everyone's salaries and have them sit in a building at the front. Well, I don't, I'm so frustrated. Like, it's just like an inch or two of snow. And now I have to hike, you know, 10 kilometers to see anything cool instead of just driving in. But, you know, such is bureaucracy and, and uh, they just wanna make sure I stay fit. So we're gonna do that instead. So Yellowstone is, as we know, basically formed by a giant super volcano. And the same is true of this place. Actually, it's the same super volcano. So this national park, this national monument is actually kind of like Yellowstone's big four million year older brother. And, uh, and what I mean by that is the super volcano that sits under Yellowstone right now used to sit under this spot. And about 12 million years before that, it sat all the way over in Nevada, right on the corner of Oregon, Nevada, and Idaho. If you can just make out behind me there, that's one of the big, big volcanoes that uh, killed and covered whatever was here before. Before, I think that one's five million years old. What's really interesting is it's actually not the super volcano that's moving. 
that is a hot spot that stays in exactly the same place. It's the plate tectonics, the entire North American plate that's moving. So we've actually moved, you know, 700 kilometers or 800 kilometers. Well, uh, Champ had a really good time, but I'm a little, I don't know, stressed out maybe. Sometimes I get this way because I feel like I'm not doing enough research and I keep driving by interesting things without knowing they're there. It stresses me out. So uh, obviously then a response for that is my therapy is always to drive, which doesn't really help the situation at all. But I stopped by this town, actually, this is an intersection where I have to turn and it's kind of abandoned. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to tour around and see what's here. This is uh, Hell's Half Acre, and uh, it's another lava flow kind of area, kind of like the uh, National Monument about uh, 50 miles ago, but uh, this one doesn't have any boots on the ground acting authority here to open or close gates, and it's uh, pretty much wild, so it's my kind of spot. So Champ and I are going to go explore it a little bit, and we're probably going to camp here tonight too, because this is what I like out of public lands. Nice, open, and uh, fewer rules. This is cinder right here, which is one of the three kinds of rock. This is super light and porous and is formed when the volcano burst erupts and superheated gases fill in between the magma and make it quite porous and it explodes into the air, cools in the air and lands solid like that this is the uh, second kind of rock, this is called Pahoehoe which uh, is a Hawaiian name basically, I think it's something about the rope 
or ropey like texture. This is from the lava flow and as it comes down it ripples and cools like this. Kind of cool. Still very brittle though. So this is the third kind of rock basalt and it has much less gas contamination so it's quite quite dense a lot heavier and a lot glassier. Hey champ how you doing? Usually you don't find this stuff on the surface. This is in the caves mostly where the lava flows have been through and uh, there's far less oxygen and gas contamination in the actual lava flow. Hey, what is it? Are you okay? Want to keep hiking? I think he wants to keep going. He doesn't like it when I go into caves. <laughs> With the way all this rock looks, it doesn't take much imagination to see it all as a black and red, throbbing, pulsating, hot mess. And uh, the weird thing is, like, this lava flow's four million years old. For four million years, this has just sat here. I mean, if you had told me that this was a lava flow like three years ago, I'd have believed you. But I guess out here in the desert, doesn't change all that fast, does it? Well, my mood has certainly improved. This little park is really quite fantastic and it's super wild. It's super like, you get to explore your own. And I love that. I love just like a gentle nudge in the right direction and that's it, you know? Just check stuff out, find it yourself. And you get that real sense of accomplishment when you find something. It's really cool, including this campsite. This is actually a campsite, dispersed camping in this area. So uh, this is where I'll be tonight. We make a little fire and uh, gonna have uh, some fireside cooked dinner, so let's do that. Sweet. 